Right, so hello and welcome back to another 90 Day Fiancé video on Arthur TV. So last time out, we looked at part three of 51-year-old Laura and her 29-year-old Tunisian husband, Aladdin. On her emotional last day in the US before she was due to move to Qatar, yet another argument between the couple put the entire move in doubt. But despite saying that she was only 50% sure that she was doing the right thing, she headed to the airport anyway, with her 22-year-old son Liam by her side to see her off. After a long two-day journey, Laura arrived in Qatar and was finally reunited with Aladdin, who was waiting flowers in hand to greet her at the airport. But despite the atmosphere, upon her arrival generally being a happy one, problems have been brewing in the background and things are about to kick off. So today we're going to be looking at Laura's explosive first few days in Qatar before heading off to meet Aladdin's family in Tunisia ahead of the wedding. <laughs> So baby, welcome, welcome. Yay! I just arrived in Qatar and Aladdin and I are on our way to see our new apartment. So Laura arrived at the apartment and instantly started complaining. She said that it smelled like mothballs and old people, she said the kitchen was ill-equipped, and she just generally seemed dissatisfied at the state of her new home. But unfortunately for us, that wasn't enough to spoil the mood, so the pair headed into the bedroom for their first night of Jiggy Jiggy. Our first night together, it's, uh, it's very nice, you know? after six months and cheeky <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> take me through it. No, 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 no. no. I'll take you through it. Just take a shower and then we yeah, take rest. And it was done in two minutes. No, she say, come on. Yeah, that's what she did say. Laura hasn't exactly been shy about her disappointment in the bedroom recently, but apparently she has no plans to let it continue that way. So after another disappointing night, now is the time to introduce a third member to the party. It was fun last night, but um, I... Uh, what? I got a few things. I don't know if you like them or not. This thingy here. Do you know what this is? What the f you. Are you for real? Surprise, surprise, Aladdin didn't take it well. You know, I did slightly wonder whether he would actually be okay with it just because it would relieve him of his duties. I don't know if you noticed, but when she closed the door for their first night of Jiggy Jiggy, she was actually still wearing the same clothes that she had traveled in for the past two days. I mean, surely she can't not shower for two days straight and expect him to do the things she wants him to do. That's just nasty. Do you need this? You know, in America, lots of ladies have those things. I am not in America. So don't tell me in America, in America. I'm you just, are not in America. I know, honey, but I'm just yeah. saying, it's not that uncommon. This is honey, you know this? Okay, okay. Not okay, not okay. You see, it's okay. Everything is okay for you, you know? It's you know, I think literally everyone called this the second she bought it in part one. I don't know what she was thinking, even bringing it into the country, let alone whipping it out after the first night. I feel like uh, there's respect when she give me this. Yeah, brother. If you need these things, that means like uh, your, uh, your partner is not uh, enough for you, you know? I'm Tunisian and I am man. I can be enough for... Uh, Culturally, it's not something acceptable, so it's more embarrassing of his manhood, I think. So she even knows. She knows it's not okay culturally, she knows it's going to embarrass him, and she still decides to do it on national TV anyway. Like, what did she think was going to happen? With Aladdin stepping outside for a moment to cool down, now is the perfect time for a quick message from our sponsor. So despite having a baby face, Mother Nature has recently bestowed upon me the need to shave my face on a regular basis. And there are a few parts of my daily routine that I enjoy less than having to shave my face with blunt razors that have become unusable after just a few shaves. But now that's no longer a problem for me thanks to Harry's. 
Harry's is a premium personal care brand that has reinvented the way you shave, helping you to shave in a premium, hassle-free way. And they've just released their sharpest ever blades, still at the low price of £1.75 each, and the razors are just great. They have a really nice weighted handle, a flex hinge to follow the contours of your face, a precision trimmer blade to get to those hard to reach places, and it even comes with a free blade cover and a lovely foaming shave gel. It's so smooth and creamy, it's literally perfect for sensitive skin. You can now redeem your trial set for just £3.95 using the link down below. That's harrys.com forward slash Arthur TV. And with that link, you'll also receive this very nice smelling shower gel. They've also got some great gift sets, which are perfect if you're looking for present ideas and stocking fillers. As well as supporting my channel by going through the link, you'll also be supporting a company that gives 1% of their global sales to non-profit organisations that provide mental health care to men in need. So yeah, head over to harrys.com forward slash Arthur TV to get your trial set now. All right, now back to the video. He has never gotten mad like that before and taken off. But my, he has blocked me on social media. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes he just needs to cool down. When it comes to sexuality, you know, it's just so backwards here. It's just going back in time and really hard for me to accept. Well, you've just moved to Qatar, so you're going to have to get used to accepting a lot of things you're not going to like. So Laura eventually conceded defeat and put the toy in the trash, and Aladdin eventually calmed down. Shortly after, to lift the mood and celebrate Laura's arrival in Qatar, they decided to go for their first night out. But on the car journey there, the conversation quickly goes back to the night's events. Only single lady, I think, they needed a slave rater. Just please, can you tell me why? Honey, I don't... Don't tell me it's for back massage. Imagine if I buy like the, also the plastic one, I don't know. The Vajiji? Yeah, the Vajiji. What it, you will say? Well, do you have to have a plastic Vajiji? You could just use your hand. Oh, uh, you, and you, you need to have this one? Well, I guess I could just use my hand too. <laughs> so, it's Diglas, you know? It's not though. It's for Diglas. You know, I've watched this so many times and I swear he says for Diglas. It's not though. It's for Diglas. It's like he's trying to charm a bogger. If, like, you feel like uh, I'm not enough for you, just tell me. I've told you things in the past where I said you need to work on some things. I don't do, I tell you. So what? I don't, like, like... Well, then that's why I have the plastic thing that'll do it. <laughs> if you're not comfortable doing it. If I'm not telling you this, you're not throwing the garbage. You don't even tell me before. Well, if you were talking to me... I'm talking to you, Because the week before I came, you weren't talking very much to me. <laughs> so if you remember from the last video, just before Laura was about to leave for Qatar, her and Aladdin had a big fight again about him following other girls on social media. So for some reason, Laura decides to add fuel to the fire and start an argument about that too. I block her one, two days, one week. I don't care how much. When she's uh, called down, we talk again. You know blocking a person works so well, especially yeah, I with don't women. Want, I don't want this, you know, I don't want to do this ever with anyone, but... But you sure do do it with but me. But I, I can't even talk with her, you know, especially I tell you in, with social media. With two big fights in the first 24 hours, things really haven't got off to the best start for Laura, have they? I'm sure she didn't expect everything to go completely smoothly, but I doubt she expected it to be this bad this early on into her move. We are going to have our official three-day wedding in Tunisia. But at this point in time, I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should be pumping the brakes on all of this. After the rocky start, Laura started feeling quite homesick. The day after their big fight, the pair went to the beach and on the way there, she started crying her eyes out, saying that she missed Liam at her home back in the US. The last time she spoke to Liam, he was still uncertain about visiting her in Qatar, but he kind of seemed to promise her that he'd come visit her when they said their final goodbyes in the airport. So today, Laura's visiting an internet cafe to give Liam a call and ask him one last time if he'll come to the wedding. Maybe I do need to see what life really is like for you. Yes. Being yeah. validated and being for myself. Holy shit, he's actually coming. I can't believe it. 
It's just so special to me. It really, it melted my heart when he said he'll come. I'm so happy. I'll come, but if I do fly out there and I don't lay down, that it's going to be pretty uncomfortable and awkward for the both of us. Just give the guy a fair chance. Well, let's just hope it's as good as you make it out to be. You know, I kind of always had a feeling that Liam was going to come to the wedding. I know he was always super negative about the whole thing, but given how much he clearly misses his mum, I don't think he was actually ever going to turn down the chance to come see her, especially on her big day. I think he was more trying to make a point than anything else. So with Liam now planning on meeting them there, Laura and Aladdin leave for Tunisia ahead of their three-day wedding. And waiting for them there is Aladdin's family. Finally! <laughs> when I first met Aladdin's family, They've had been mourning the passing of his sister. <laughs> My family, you know, we are very close to it for each other, you know? We are five brothers. I am the last son. After when my sister passed away, you feel like it's sad house, you know? So this wedding, it's mean a lot for my family. I want them to, to be happy, to change the mood. You know, I think this one clip made me do a faster 180 than I've ever done watching a 90 Day Fiancé video. I was kind of just sitting back and enjoying the show before, but now it has this deeper meaning. I feel so much more invested in it. It's actually a heartbreaking story as well. Aladdin's sister got involved in a fatal car accident not long after he and Laura met. So she was there for Aladdin and his family whilst they were grieving and ended up developing a really strong bond with them because of it. Give it to me. <laughs> Seeing him with that baby really impressed me with how incredible he is with kids and his love for kids. Aladdin and I have talked about having children. I wish that we could just go to the bedroom and have Jiggy Jiggy and have kids, but for me, it, that's just not possible. It's going to be a process. However, I'm willing to try it because I love Aladdin. I don't know if it's just because emotions are running high, but this is the first time that she said that she loved Aladdin and I've kind of believed it. Or at least I genuinely believe that she believes it. I think the children conversation is going to be a difficult one for Laura and Aladdin. But for now at least, they still have a lot on their plate with Liam, who's just arrived in Tunisia ahead of the wedding. It's a nightmare to even think if they don't get along. Yes. Yes. Yay. Oh my goodness. Look at that, he's behind. Hello. Hey, cowboy. Hello. Oh, man, how are you? I'm good. It's good to meet you finally. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Thank Hello. you. Thank you. Nice Hello. to meet you. Ah. <laughs> I miss you so much, honey. <laughs> Come on, stop crying now. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I see you right. <laughs> Okay, so it's off to a bit of a mixed start. Aladdin's being his usual happy, welcoming self. Liam said it's good to meet you. And there are a few happy tears from Laura thrown in for good measure. It got a little bit awkward, but to be fair to Liam, I've always thought that Aladdin's response to Laura crying is a bit weird. It's like he kind of doesn't really know how to respond to it, so he just tells her to stop, and it's kind of a bit controlling. And hearing a man repeatedly telling your mum to stop crying when you've just arrived in the country would definitely be a bit uncomfortable. I do love how Liam does the awkward looking at the camera thing and then Aladdin just calls him out for it, though. I see you right. <laughs> it's wonderful seeing her again. Definitely miss her a lot. It is a bit awkward, but I'm definitely interested in seeing what kind of person he really is and how well he treats my mother. What do you have for the wedding? You take your uh, tuxedo, you take You're your clothes? You're not wearing that. Uh, this one well, was on the plane. They gave it to me for yeah. free. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're supposed I to leave what I tell you, from where you I get think it, you're supposed to leave it on the I'm free. keeping this. This is a free blanket. Yeah, he's cowboy. <laughs> Where's your horse, man? Oh god, Liam's so awkward. I actually feel so bad for Aladdin here. I get that he doesn't approve of the relationship and he's going to be judging Aladdin pretty harshly from the start, but at least give the man a chance. Like, it's a light-hearted joke. Is it really that hard to just laugh it off? What's the point in saying that you're interested in finding out what kind of man he is and then being rude from the start? In my first impression, it's like, I feel like he's awkward, you know? <laughs> so, bro, nice to meet you finally. Yes, like, I know, right? Yeah. I'm still nervous, you know? So, bro, you want to say hello to my family? <laughs> no, no offense, but I'm very tired. I, I'm, I'm exhausted. 
I want to show my home, I want to show my family for he not feel like he's a stranger, you know, but not even like talk nice to me, you know. I just want to respect him. But if you will be rude with me, I will be rude also. That's so poor from Liam. He's already travelled two days to get there. He's being welcomed into Aladdin's home. Is it really that much of an extra effort to just pop your head in and say hi? Surely he didn't come all this way just to make his point all over again by being difficult. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Next time out, we're starting off on day one of the wedding. So if you wanna see all of the drama that unfolds on the big occasion, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out. As always, the links to my Instagram, Twitter, and other social media will be down below. So feel free to drop me a follow to keep up with the channel, help me decide what future videos to make, or just say hi in between uploads. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.